as I learned in college, I studied architecture, and architecture is the mother of the arts. So every time I'm in a meeting with an architect, I always say, well, architecture is the mother of the arts, but I also think that decoration has a pivotal role in making architecture better, and it's best to have an architect and a decorator on a project. I think it gives you a higher level of sophistication. We just recently celebrated our 25-year anniversary at Jane Design Studio, so I've seen a lot of clients in the last 25 years, and what's really flattering and attractive is that my clients' children are coming to ask me to decorate their apartments. And sometimes they come with their parents, and I get them by themselves, and I say, you know, you really don't have to have your mother's decorator if you don't want to. And of course, that allows them to either get off the hook or say, say something really nice. And one girl, one daughter said to me, I, I would be so flattered if you decorated our house. You've made so many beautiful rooms for my mother, and I would love to have one. It's a little discouraging but most times when people buy a new place, they demolish it and start over. And so I always tell my clients, you might as well just build what you love and what you want and not worry about real estate value because inevitably someone's gonna take it out and it's not gonna make a huge difference. So you might as well have what you want when you're living there. And sometimes, luckily sometimes, some people find what you do so beautiful that they don't take it out and that's, that's the caviar. But taste is so divergent now that you really can't satisfy the next buyer's taste anyway, so you might as well do what you want. Our style is enduring. We call it ancient and modern. We like to use old and new things. We believe that you can't have a new interior or an old interior, but it's always a combination. And great design always looks good in an historic context.